Near solstice a few weeks ago, the days have been getting longer. But how much more daylight do we see each day? Meteorologist Anna Myers has more. The winter solstice is the day with the least amount of daylight for the entire year. But now that it has passed, daylight increases each day from now until the summer solstice. The winter solstice took place December 21st, and for the Northern Hemisphere every day since then, until June 21st, we'll see increasing daylight. The winter solstice is statistically the darkest day of the year with only about nine hours and seven minutes of daylight for our area. But how much daylight do we gain from there? Now that is actually location specific and varies among states, but according to the Astronomical Applications Department from the U.S. Naval Observatory, for the specific location of Elmira, in January, we gain approximately two minutes of daylight per day, Around February 15th, it increases to about three minutes per day. By the end of April to early May, it decreases back down to two more minutes of daylight per day, and then ending on approximately one more minute of daylight per day in June until the summer solstice. Now, by the time of the summer solstice, the longest day of the year in terms of daylight features approximately 15 hours and 15 minutes of sunlight for our area. But why is this the case? To start with the basics, astronomical seasons are divided into two solstices and two equinoxes. Astronomical seasons are based on the position of the Earth in relation to the Sun, and the equinoxes are when the Sun is directly above the equator. Now, the seasons happen because of the tilt of the Earth. The Earth is on a 23.5 degree tilt, so for the Northern Hemisphere, we are tilted toward the Sun in June and away from the Sun in December. But what we have been talking about so far are the astronomical seasons. There are also meteorological seasons. Now those are based on patterns historically for the annual temperature cycle. From Elmira, I'm Anna Myers, 18 News.